Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator with me, Gaming Goose. In today's video I'm going to be explaining why sheep are the best livestock on the game and how on earth did I get on this beautiful sun trap of a roof. Let's jump straight into the video. So first up I'm going to be building everything that you need to run the sheep and this is how cheap it is. I've got a couple of pens, I've got a spinnery which I want to turn the wool into uh, fabric and I'm going to be buying a tailor shop which will uh, stitch and print the fabric and turn it into clothing. It's one of the easiest production chains to do and it will make you a lot of money. So I'll quickly build the area and then I'll bring you back. And here we are, welcome back everybody. We've got 60 sheep in each pen. Now it won't show you 60 sheep, it'll just show you what the game allows. You can get mods for that, but this is just the vanilla. Now the good thing about these pens is, and what's different to most of the other animals and livestock on the game, is you don't even need water. Now if you're doing things like pigs, they need root crops and they need certain vegetables to eat to keep them at 100% health, so they reproduce what you want them to reproduce. The same with the cows, the cows need total mixed ration, you need to do the straw on the flooring. You grow in all different types of crops as well to try and keep the cost down, but it's a lot more work. Now sheep, it could not be easier because all they need is grass. And there's all this grass over here from this field that we own, it's not even a field. It's just part of where I've built. Now you can pick grass up from literally anywhere on the map, as long as you've got a tiny little mower, you can mow the grass up and put it straight into your sheep. Now the cheapest way of doing this is get yourself a really tiny tractor and you can get yourself the tiniest attachment mower that the game has and you can get yourself this little baler. Now I'll show you the baler and the good thing about this baler is just navigate to it, that's the one. The cheapest one there is, the Massey Ferguson MF1840 it will make tiny little bales of grass which is absolutely ideal because you can pick them up. So again, no mods needed. All the others you need to, the bigger bales you need to pick them, uh, pick them up with some kind of machinery. So to keep the cost down you can get a tiny little one like that and do as follows. So we're just mowing the grass at the back area here which is completely free again. I bought this tiny little mower that's attached to my tractor. I'm mowing the grass, free money, once I've mowed this grass you don't have to mess about turning it into silage or anything like that, you can get the cheapest baler that I've just shown you and bale it all up. And in the interest of time, because I know everyone wants these two tutorials as quickly as possible, I've already baled it up for you and as I was saying earlier, you can pick them up, you don't need any mods, It's um, you can pick them up by hand because they're not too heavy. If you get a bigger baler and you make bigger hay bales or big grass bales, you can't pick them up. With these, you simply pick it up and move it over to your sheep. Each pen will take between 10 15 tiny bales I've worked out. I'll just quickly show you on here. So we've put two in so far. And we are at, let's have a quick look at the food. And there you go. So it'll take about between 10 and 15 bales. Now once you've chucked all these in, you just have to wait long enough and what will happen is the sheep will automatically produce wool. And here is the wool. Now you'll end up with a lot more pallets than this but I just wanted to show you for the tutorial. So we've got one pallet of wool. You'll notice the pallets are already in place because I wanted to get them ready for the tutorial. So you can just get on with your other tasks and then when you've got a lot of wool at any point during the year instead of selling them just bring them over here. The wool per, per pallet will probably be worth about 800 so it's definitely worth doing this production chain because as I said it costs you absolutely nothing because then you get the fabric, you'll get loads of pallets of fabric. Again this costs you absolutely nothing, it's just what the shop has done for you. You just get a tiny fee for keeping the running cost but it's absolutely nothing. Drag the fabric over to your tailor shop, your stitch and print shop and put it in and wait enough time and you will get a pallet of clothes. 
and there you go that is the um, the old process a lot of the other livestock take a lot of work sheep are just so easy it's mow the grass throw the grass in move each pallet to the other area the different production chain and eventually at the end of the production chain you'll have pallets of clothes now imagine I'm taking one pallet down here imagine you've waited a year or so in game and um, you're driving down with a big truckload of uh, clothes I've done it before on one of my series so feel free to check them out you're driving down to the shop with a pallet of clothes and this will be worth about seven and a half eight thousand pound so you do the math how much that would be if you had 20 30 40 pallets full simply sell it the production chain has cost you nothing and you're making a fortune that's today's tutorial hopefully it helps some of you out i'm going to climb up my ladder to get back on the roof and sunbathe and enjoy my huge profits catch you all hopefully on one of my series or one of my other videos feel free to check out my twitch stream where i stream live and i also help people out wherever i can thank you for watching me and see you all on another video